Every week, thousands of developers around the world push new code to GitHub, but only a few projects rise to the top and capture the community's attention. Today, we're highlighting the top 15 trending repos for September 26, 2025. The projects everyone's talking about. Let's find out why. First up, we've got Dayflow, a native macOS app that automatically builds a timeline of your day using AI. Instead of relying on your calendar, Dayflow watches your screen activity at one frame per second and summarizes it every 15 minutes, giving you a clean, trustworthy snapshot of how you actually spend your time. What makes it special? It's lightweight, private by design, and you control the AI, whether that's Gemini with your own API key or local models like Olama. You even get distraction highlights, time-lapse replays of your day, and automatic cleanup so old recordings don't pile up. Next on the list is React Old Icons, a massive React component library featuring over 2,300 classic icons pulled straight from vintage operating systems and software. We're talking Windows 95, XP, Vista 7, old school games, and even classic applications like Photoshop and WinRAR. Perfect if you're building a retro-themed app, a nostalgic UI, or just want to preserve digital history and style. The project comes with a slick, interactive icon browser where you can search, filter by category, preview different sizes, and copy the component code with just one click. Every icon is fully typed, supports responsive sizing, custom styling, and accessibility out of the box. Coming in next is OpenTrack an open-source humanoid motion tracking framework built on Mujoco with support for multi-GPU parallel training. This project tackles one of the hardest challenges in robotics, tracking highly dynamic, contact-rich human motions while staying stable in real-world environments. At the heart of OpenTrack is Any2Track, a two-stage reinforcement learning system. It combines AnyTracker, which learns to follow diverse motions in a single policy with any adapter a module that adapts on the fly to terrain changes, external forces, and other disturbances. For anyone working in robotics, AI, or motion simulation, this is a foundational repo worth diving into. Next, we've got VLA Adapter, a new paradigm for building efficient vision language action models without the massive training costs of giant backbones. Traditionally, VLA systems bridge vision and language to action by pre-training on huge robotic datasets, powerful but expensive and slow. VLA Adapter flips that script. By carefully designing a lightweight bridge between multimodal features and the action space, it achieves state-of-the-art performance with just a 0.5 billion parameter model. Even better, it can be trained in about eight hours on a single consumer GPU, and delivers some of the fastest inference speeds to date. Next up is SimpleFold. Folding proteins is simpler than you think, a breakthrough open source project tackling one of biology's hardest problems, protein folding. Unlike previous models that rely on specialized modules like triangle attention, SimpleFold is built entirely with general purpose transformer layers and trained with a flow matching objective. The team scaled it up to a 3 billion parameter model, trained on over 8.6 million protein structures plus PDB data, making it the largest folding model ever developed. Despite this simplicity, SimpleFold achieves state-of-the-art competitive accuracy on folding benchmarks and shows strong performance in ensemble predictions thanks to its generative approach. Up next is Tun a lightweight SSH tunnel manager that makes handling multiple tunnels a breeze. Instead of juggling long commands, you define everything in a single YAML config file, then spin up all your tunnels, or just the ones you need, with a simple command. It supports multiple port mappings per tunnel, runs everything in parallel, and even has a daemon mode with status reporting so you can keep an eye on what's active. Under the hood, TUN doesn't reinvent the wheel. It wraps your system's native OpenSSH, so all your existing keys and configs work exactly as they do in your shell. Next up is Visual Mimic, a cutting edge framework for visual humanoid loco manipulation, basically teaching humanoid robots to see, move, and interact with the world like humans. 
Unlike older methods that rely on external motion capture or struggle to generalize, Visual Mimic unifies egocentric vision with a hierarchical whole body controller. The system combines a low level motion tracker trained directly from human motion data with a high level policy that translates vision and proprioception into precise body movements. With noise injection and action clipping for stability, the model can zero shot transfer from simulation to real hardware. The results are impressive. Robots using Visual Mimic can lift and push boxes, dribble and kick footballs, and even handle outdoor environments, all without retraining. Moving on, we have Song Prep, a pre-processing framework and end-to-end -end model for full song structure parsing and lyrics transcription. Instead of requiring manual labeling or complex source separation, Song Prep can analyze an entire track, detect its structure, transcribe lyrics, and even generate precise timestamps for both Chinese and English songs. At its core is Song Prep E2E, a model built on pre-trained language models that leverages context from the whole song. The result? Lower diarization and word error rates and structured data sets that are ready to train AI-powered music generation models. Next up is MCP Obsidian, a universal AI bridge for your Obsidian Vault. With the Model Context Protocol standard, it connects your notes directly to AI assistants like Claude, ChatGPT, and even future MCP-compatible tools without locking you into corporate APIs. The best part? It gives your AI safe read and write access to your knowledge base while protecting your YAML front matter from corruption. That means your notes stay private, but your assistant gets smarter. Whether you're working in Obsidian, IDEs like IntelliJ and Cursor, or future AI platforms, MCP Obsidian ensures your knowledge base is ready to integrate with the next generation of AI tools. Now let's talk about GeoSVR short for Geometric Sparse Voxel Reconstruction. This open source project delivers high quality surface reconstruction for complex real world scenes using explicit sparse voxels. What makes GeoSVR powerful is its voxel uncertainty depth constraint, which leverages depth cues while avoiding quality loss, plus a sparse voxel surface regularization that sharpens tiny details. The result, reconstructions that are not just efficient, but also incredibly accurate complete and rich in fine details. If you've struggled with rough or incomplete reconstructions before, GeoSVR sets a new benchmark for detail preservation and geometric accuracy. Introducing Blogar, a fast, lightweight, static site generator built in Rust, designed for developers who want a smooth blogging workflow without the bloat. With Blogger, you can write in Markdown, manage drafts and tags, and preview your posts with a built-in terminal editor. Site builds are blazing fast, with multiple themes, full-text search, syntax highlighting, and SEO-friendly output, everything you need for a professional blog. Deployment is effortless. A single command pushes your site to GitHub pages, with custom domain support and branch management handled for you. Next on our list is TreeGRPO a tree search-based reinforcement learning method designed for LLM agents. Traditional RL approaches for language models often rely on chain-based rollouts, which can be inefficient and suffer from sparse supervision. TreeGRPO fixes this by using a semantic tree structure where each node represents a full agent step, allowing multiple rollouts to share common prefixes. This approach has two major benefits. It reduces the rollout budget by up to 75%, and provides a stepwise supervision signal for better learning. Next up is Lucy Edit, a powerful video editing model that lets you make instruction guided edits using just text prompts. Want to change a character's outfit, swap a person for a polar bear, or transform the scene into a 2D cartoon? Lucy Edit handles it all while perfectly preserving motion and composition. Unlike typical methods that require masks or fine tuning, Lucy Edit works directly from free text instructions, making edits reliable and robust. You can modify wardrobe and accessories, replace characters, insert objects, or even change entire scenes, all without touching a single frame manually. Next up is Max Headbox, an open source voice activated LLM agent built to run entirely on a Raspberry Pi. 
With just a microphone and a Pi 5, you can execute code, run tools, or interact with AI entirely offline, no cloud required. The stack is fully local. A React Vite front end talks to a Sinatra back end for audio recording, while speech to text is handled by Faster Whisper. A wake word system with VOSC triggers the LLM, and the whole system integrates with Olama for language model management. Max Headbox lets you prototype hands-free AI experiences while maintaining full privacy, keeping everything on your device. Next up is DMV2, a real-time object detection framework that combines the proven DIM training pipeline with the powerful features of Dino V3. Designed for versatility, DMV2 spans eight model sizes, from ultra-lightweight edge models to large-scale GPU deployments, making it adaptable across devices and scenarios. With innovations like the spatial tuning adapter for multi-scale feature extraction and a simplified decoder, DIMV2 achieves state-of-the-art performance while maintaining efficiency. For example, the S-sized model exceeds 50 AP on Coco, while the ultralight Pico model hits 38.5 AP with just 1.5 million parameters, roughly 50% fewer than competing models.